these masterclasses? Is it all about the playing and the techniques, or do you tell them other things about no, yourself, like the audiences and how well, to deal with that? There are so many things, but first, uh, they must understand music. They must understand composer, what composer wants to, you know, to tell. Bah, bah. Yeah. Can you play that bar, those two bars before one Second, he should really enjoy it and to be involved in the performance. Do you enjoy doing this sort of thing, the master classes? I have done a few times, but I was very uh, interested, also very enjoy to communicate with those uh, children and those, uh, you know, young talent. Yeah. <laughs> So it looked like there were thousands of people who were lining up to see you and the auditorium was already getting really wow. full. Yeah. Um, what do you feel like when you walk out onto stage in front of all these people? Does your heart start beating really fast? No, I think this is a so, so exciting moment, especially when you play. And, uh, but you never think about the mistake, especially, I think, especially talent or the pianist. They don't need to think too much about the play, especially making mistake. I also did that some, sometimes in concert mistake, but I, for myself, I think I, I really hope to focus and into the music, and then, then you forgot everything, and I just think about music. So what happens if you make a mistake? Do you just stop? Or? No, I never think. So maybe audience heard the mistake. For myself, I just think beautiful music, beautiful melody, beautiful tempo, everything is so great. You've got to be really good if you can make the mistake sound beautiful. <laughs> actually quite a lot to you because of course you're used to playing to a large crowd of people but the fact that they want to come here and learn from you and listen to what you have to say. It's the same when I was young I also a lot of chance for me to listen special master class from all over the world from the great pianists, great artists and uh, they are I think now the same too they want to study they want to know more about music they want to know how you know practice how to perform so this is uh, I think for me, for me the same. Now your musical journey started when you were four years old and you decided to take up the accordion because you saw somebody playing it in a shopping mall. What do you remember about that time? Well, that's a very long time ago. Actually, I can't remember anything, but uh, I think that time is very passionate I th when I heard and especially saw the, the accordion. I have a lot of interest that wants to try and to, to play. So very, very simple. He 
我们创意老师要亲自带动孩子们演奏，好拉琴。那么还有最重要的一点，老师我用我的手势、我的指挥、我的内、我的身体来带动孩子们一种对音乐的感受。韩老师，他对我的音乐的感觉起舞，我觉得影响很大。然后呢，在七岁的时候，我跟那个吴老师，呃，我的钢琴启蒙最早的手指的启蒙老师，我觉得他在我印象中是很严厉、很凶的一个人。小的时候，他都会用那个竹签子打。Um, you switched to piano at the age of seven. Do you remember anything about that, like the first time that you saw a piano or that you played? Ah,、uh, first time I I saw the piano. I, I was so surprised the piano can make so so loud the sound so big and of course different with accordions it's so big and also the keyboard when you 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 have when you touch it make some some very very you know unique sound but I don't know in that time like, what kind of you know make this very unique sound but just really got, got a lot of passion the, you know excited very exciting and I want to study I want to play but also besides that piano I don't need you know always take with me. With me, like a accordion. Accordion, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very heavy. <laughs> it's very <laughs>、yeah. heavy. A piano, you just sit there and play, and more simple. <laughs> Seems to be more simple <laughs> in that time. What I think. Do you remember a time where you thought, "Wow, I'm really good at this"?、Uh, since I had the first performance, I think when I was nine years old, and after two years study, and it's in the you know it's a kind of open class from my teacher, Professor Dan. And、uh, I played three or five pieces, and everybody was, I remember was very surprised, and and、uh, was was I, I feel, in that time I also feel I played so good, <laughs> and I, I I first time for me is play for the kind of public audience, and also a lot of、uh, you know、uh, people there, and、uh, and I play every day while I practice, and I got.、Uh, A、great feeling, and I think、uh, it's so different when I'm playing on stage, and I mean totally different when you get a lesson or when you practice. So that time I think, wow, this is a very interesting things. <laughs> I read though that at the age of nine,、um, you decided that you wanted to quit,、mm -hmm. that you wanted to give up the piano.、Mm -hmm. How come? Well, that time I,、uh, you know, my hands is、uh, quite not so big, and、uh, some piano teacher says. Maybe oh maybe you're not so good、uh, in the future because the hands too small. So a lot of pieces you can't play because you couldn't reach the octave. Yeah, I cannot. I cannot. I still have two keys. <laughs> 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 two keys. You were only nine. This hand is a bit small, but the hands are so small. But now 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 the hands are so small. I remember when I was eleven years old, I said I was small. Then, when I was in the process, I was considering whether to study a specialized degree or study in a regular school. Then I decided to study piano. Because I liked it, and the teacher also thought that not studying is a waste of time. My teacher, Professor Dan, said he has a good talent and he has a wonderful voice. He plays so good, and I think he said, "Don't give up." Please keep,、uh, keep, keep doing, keep、uh, studying. 为咗让李云地追随蛋教授，李家甚至由重庆搬去深圳居住。这音乐和技术是不可分离的。他九岁过来，不是很正规。那我用专业化的角度训练他，这一些最根本的一些东西。小的时候肯定是老师完全要指引你，一定要学什么东西。你特别是技巧类的，因为从你不会要教你会，就像你吃饭或者是怎么样，你你要拿筷子或者你写字你要背，这是一步一步的来的。先，然后他建立起我对音乐的看法，我走上了这条路。当然，高楼并唔系一朝一日建成，一个地方嘅文化都需要时间去塑造。喺国内，要发展古典音乐仍然系障碍重重。好似喺重庆就缺乏一个专业嘅表演场地。太脏了，太脏了，已经已经不像钢琴了，比现在还好很多。那么好的钢琴，你看你看这里边，这么灯光，本来灯光面光有没有？有啊。这些灯，你们打开里边的那些机器都像锈的一样，磨惨多。温州，很轻的。这一台钢琴
呃经过的调整，现在应该好很多。当然不可以跟真正呃像国外音乐厅或者像好的音乐厅里面的钢琴比了。但是我觉得钢琴并不一定，呃，虽然是非常重要，但是我还是能够通过我的演奏把我最好水平展示出来。嗯、um, ，you often hear child prodigies,、mm -hmm. um, you know, say that they feel like freaks, that they don't fit in,、mm -hmm. they can't relate to、yeah. other people their own age.、Yeah. Did you ever feel like that? I think it's fine because、uh, also I had a normal school life. I think quite normal, just a more practice time than more play time. So、uh, I think my life.、Uh, Until now, is、uh, still, I think, is quite normal. Chongqing is my home city. As a child, I lived here. I also hope to go to Chongqing to perform for everyone. 我很想我的爷爷奶奶和一些亲戚朋友了，很久没有回去看他们了。老师，你以前的在哪？啊，是的。还有还有还有日期作业吗？对，这个钢琴我基本上小的时候一直都是在在这里学习，都是用的这钢琴。小时候天天都来嘛，放学都往这里跑。那我家住在另外一个地方，那个时候经常想跑到这里来住，和爷爷奶奶住嘛。就是。喜欢唱歌，左手一支脚，右手一支勺子。哎呀，我回娘家了，他他都喜欢唱。以前小的时候，我们的那个头发不是跟，以后就头发长不是。一九八二年，出生于重庆市一个平民嘅家庭。李云迪爸爸李川系钢铁厂嘅管理人员，妈妈张小露任职国企。虽然两人都冇受过正统嘅音乐训练，但由于热爱古典音乐，自小就致力培养儿子对音乐嘅兴趣。有别于其他欢天喜地到处玩嘅细路仔，李云迪嘅童年就只有钢琴。小的时候。除了在学校里上学，然后回到家里睡觉，中午，然后下午又去上学，下午放学以后，那么就写作业，写完作业就吃饭，吃完饭七点钟准时练琴。那他是他也是一分钟提前不上也不上琴的，那么延后一分钟我也不会同意。练琴完了以后，就最大的奢望就是想到爷爷奶奶家去玩一玩。从小学一年级吧，到小学完毕业六年。这六年当中，他没有一个寒暑假，我们没有带他去连续的到哪里去旅游啊、观光啊这些的。只有到他考上四川音乐学院附中的时候，才休了休息了十五天。哎，这个痛痛快快的没有练琴，这十五天没有练琴，再玩了一下。嗯，应该说还是一个很辛苦的一个过程。基本上来讲是比较传统的中国家庭，应该说对我的教育应该说还是严格。的时候思想肯定是比较单纯和直接的，所以说呢，肯定会有反叛啊、调皮啊、呃、被批评啊、被骂呀、啊，也也被打过啊。小时候。好壮啊，这样。他这个无产真的。每日除咗练琴之外，李云迪最大嘅娱乐就系睇电视卡通片。小学六年级有一次，李云迪因为追看电视冇依时练琴，最后俾李妈妈发现。一下我就叫了一个三轮车，然后就说把那个电视机给我拉走，拉到我的亲戚家里去。还有那个时候你猜不到，那云迪简直是伤心的，可能就就觉得是什么都没有了，一下就哇，一下就哇，一下就哇，一下一看就使劲的哭啊哭啊，就说就拉着我呀，使劲的说哎妈妈呀，你千万不要拿走，说的是你这个拿走了，我就什么都没有了，我也不行，就让那另外一个人搬走。我回来的时候，他也在弹琴，但是哭得非常伤心，伤心的不得了。那天晚上，大家大概就哭了很长时间。那个下了课之后，打到那个玩乒打乒乓球，然后呢，就是那个，呃，上课的时候有时候玩题嘛，上课就把那个他在学钢琴嘛，那时候就把那个桌子都画上一条条的钢琴琴键式。这梆梆梆梆的弹了弹，老师有时候就会批评他，叫他起来。嗯，在这个日记里呢，他就有一篇写的呢，那就是说什么呢？最后的时候写了以后，他就是想成为一名真正的钢琴大师，就是他。
他自己这样记得，就是四年级的时候他就有这个决心，他要成为一名好的音乐家。What does your family now think of all of your achievements and the path that you've chosen in life?、Uh, they just think,、uh, they hope I take it easy, enjoy life. They didn't give me so many pressures. So you, Yundi, you should be blah 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 blah. So I think、uh, they are very, very relaxed. I think the the situation they're very re relaxed. They just want to myself、um, to be happy, to be enjoy what I'm doing, enjoy playing music. 哎呀，我得拿一本出来。嗯，这一本杂志，嗯，这个这个也介绍也介绍云迪的封，哎，是他的封面。嗯，这里也很多。嗯，二零零三年的时候，在中国。获得的中国金唱片奖，金唱片就是中国唱片界的最高荣誉奖。嗯，这个是云迪二零零零年第十四届肖邦国际比赛，云迪最重要的奖。When I went to the、uh, competition, I never think、uh, will win. My teacher just let me focus and、uh, don't think too much. I just close my eyes and.、Uh, The first notes come out. I just try to be as concentrated as, as possible as I can be, and、uh, to be like Chopin. In that moment, I can see Chopin. And even though you played the same piece as you know, five or so other people,、yeah. you got a standing ovation. <laughs> uh, I, I, after the the last notes, I feel the all the people really get very warm, get very hot. Myself, I think I just think, oh, I can take a breath. <laughs> That must have been a very very、yeah. special time. Wow. Um, something that the record companies have worked on with you a lot is your image. Yes.、Um, you know, it's, you have become extremely recognisable. But you know, how does that sit with you? Because I guess you spend hours,、uh, years and years and years practicing、yeah. the piano, and then people want to talk about your hair. Mhm.、Mm、yeah. So I think、uh, now I think it's、uh, quite natural. When I focus somebody, and I will also look at a lot of details, like、uh, if I think I I saw the girl I once. I was、uh, uh, see his, his eyes, his hair, <laughs> and、uh, so you're just as yeah, bad. I, I, yeah. <laughs> it's automatic, it's very natural. You focus on other other things. So I think some detail and the people like to want to see, and、uh, it's a、uh, it's a、uh, quite normal and、uh, just to be yourself and、uh, relax. That's it. Do you have to put a lot of effort? Into your image, like oh, my hair has to be like this,、uh, my clothes have to be like this. As a normal person, I, I think I, every day I always look at the mirror. I want to be、uh, perfect. <laughs> 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 I want to be handsome. <laughs>、um, you've got this reputation as, you know, a nice boy, a clean-cut boy. <laughs> Is that not a difficult standard to live up to? I mean, you can't get caught falling out of a bar or something like that.、Uh, I never think about this, but but、uh, when I'm On stage, I th still think I'm、uh, a great pianist, and also I can play good music, and I can bring good Chopin, especially wonderful, you know, performance for everybody. <laughs> Now you say that you are in this business for the long haul, and that you take a slow and steady approach to things. How come? Why don't you want to go straight to the、uh, top? The art is to take time, I think, especially music needs time. Uh, like wine, you need a year, you need experience, you need life, and、uh, you need to be with piano slow, slowly, slowly, slowly. I think, and、uh, you don't need to rush because music can't rush. You really need to enjoy what you are doing, especially what you are playing, and、uh, every day. That's it. I believe this. What is the touring life like? Very difficult to say, but、uh, I enjoy it. It doesn't get a bit stressful. Eventually, you think, you know what? I just want to go home and sleep in my own bed.、Uh, no, I, I enjoy to to 
to travel and uh, to see a lot of different things and uh, especially a lot of different people, culture. I think uh, that was more interesting. Are there any days that you wake up and you think, I just don't want to go anywhere near a piano today? Yes, sometimes uh, when, you, when I go to the like uh, uh, mountain place or the the very good the, the very good view, and I think, oh no, I want to relax. I just want to sit there, have a, a cup of tea, and uh, uh, read some book. That's it. <音>我从小的好奇心都很重因为对什么新鲜的事物啊特别想去了解因为很有一种想去研究和去搞清楚的这种感觉因为有的时候我可能是也算比较喜欢能追根问底吧因为我特别想了解这个东西到底它好在
you know, they they always l uh, tell me the new things, new disc, new you know what's going on. <laughs> I was very, but sometimes I, I I feel I'm very old. I didn't know <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you like? Uh, I think uh, a lot of good thing uh, wi which I ha I have cooperated with Jicho. And he's right. a nice uh, thing. Everybody know it, and uh, very good talent. And uh, we had a few cooperation. I think it was very funny and very natural. Everything happened, but it was very uh, d different, great experience for me. You're living back in China now after a few years away, living in Hanover in Germany. What do you make of China's ability to nurture young musical talent? I think China now growing very fast. A lot of the young talent uh, also uh, come out and uh, especially uh, this generation will have a lot of chance to uh, go outside study or have a lot of pr the chance to to hear a wonderful performance, t to hear great music. I think that's also great. So, and uh, everything is more open. And uh, I'm very glad to be live at this generation. <laughs> you and Lang Lang are often compared, and there are a lot of obvious similarities between you two. You're both mainland Chinese. You're both very gifted in this one particular discipline. Uh, you're the same age. Do you think that those comparisons are fair? I think the comparison is good. Like ev every everything, also in in your life, everything is. Uh, you need a little bit of energy and uh, to give you, let you wake up, and uh, not com compared with some other people's, but yourself is more important. After you won the Warsaw uh, Chopin competition. Um, you were picked up by Deutsche Grammophon and you stayed there for you know, a good few years. Then there seems to be quite a lot of debate about whether or not the label dropped you. I think this is uh, quite a misunderstanding. I think we had, a, uh, before we had a very long term relation, it's an automatic the relation stop, finished. It's not about, I think, dropped or, or, or it's a natural business stop. And then after we for, for myself, for my management, they think to change or different recording company. That's, I think, a more business deal. Lang Lang, though, is signed with Deutsche Grammophon. What about those reports that said that he signed with them or was in negotiations to sign with them? And one of the things that he said was, you have to get Yundi Lee off the label. Any truth? Uh, I, don't think, I don't think this is the truth. A lot of rumor, I think, around, like, uh, Mercedes Benz, Audi, what they, uh, blah blah blah. I think just uh, focus on your music and also I believe my management, I believe all the people who are working for me and my talent on my playing music. So I think that's is, uh, what I want to know. <laughs> China is, well, the Chinese press is fixated with your love life. Uh -huh. Do you have one? I think right moment is, uh, I really don't want to focus on my private life. I want to, to be relaxed, to be easy, like a normal person. But some, maybe someday if I have a good news, I would say to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it get lonely though? I mean, you spend the year six months practicing, six months touring. Um, sometimes I feel lonely, but uh, for artists, I think sometimes it's better you have some time to be quiet. But uh, of course, every city I have a lot of friends and uh, we, we can hang out, uh, we can have a drink, and uh, they can come to, my, uh, come to my concert. So it's a very, I think, uh, colorful life. <laughs> what do you think it takes to be a truly excellent musician? Well, first of all, you must love music, really love. Um, not, you know, this kind of uh, should be in your blood. The only time when I wake up, sometimes I, I, every s uh, melody and uh, piece and come out from my mind, and uh, sometimes I sing it. I think that is this kind of feelings make me so, uh, so lucky. I think. Do you see yourself always doing this? Uh, I love music. I love piano. I love playing. So that's it.
I think if he is smart, he will not overextend himself, not play too much, take, take his time, read a book, play a game, mature and, and add something to his repertoire every year if he can. I, I will with interest follow his, his further growth, it's inter exciting. We live in a world of instant culture. It's much more difficult be, um, for the more you know about the world and think about the world, the more you are interested about humans and human interaction and the more you fall in love and more you have your heart broken. That all is part of making somebody into a better musician. Obviously there's a tremendous talent there, fantastic facilities, great, great hands. But what I like very much about him and from the first time that I worked with him is there's a naturalness to his playing that is great. I think it just, you know, it flows out of him and it's not filtered with trying to manipulate the music. And he is a joy to work with.